Okay, so this is like red white counters aggro, I think would probably be the best way to call it. So we've got adversary and aspirant and hopeful innate and kumo that all put one one counters on things as well as the thundering ride you here and this is kind of the payoff right when it attacks you to throw a counter on something and then it gets to deal damage directly to your opponent's dome equal to the number of modified creatures you have other than this so in theory if you curve out one two three four this is basically attacks for four and then deals three directly to your opponent the turn it comes down. We've also got some reach slash interaction here, things like rolling eruption and play with fire. Let's see if giving people a good old fashioned beatdown is competitive in standard or not. It's good, good, clean, honest aggro. Two drop here, but if they play something out, we could Royal Eruption them on two, or we could just play another innate. Yeah, she might have Bean Z. Damn it, camera. My face is up here. Ignore the Rowlet. Snooty Doobie, thank you for the 25 months. Welcome back. Uh, that is correct. We are not playing the 3 3 Haste Champ with a Crow's Day Knight. As always, if you're wondering what cards are in our current deck list, you can check out the overlay widget or exclamation point deck in chat. Mono blue in standard, eh? Slipping out the back here. It's a little scary. This gets pretty big pretty quick. I guess since they passed, I just go tap land go now and chill for playing two spells so you can flip the moon raid fruit to grab the spirit. If we draw a second spell, we could flip it today and get this going again. I like their uh their island sleeve into um into the ascendant spirit. Or into the mono blue deck, I mean. I suppose I guess I could have done this last turn. I can attack with this into their thing and then a ganjo. Yeah, I should, I should have done this last turn. Because I had the first striker last turn. And... is thirsty. What instant speed creatures are in this format? They have like Spectral Adversary. There's the 3-3 three, three Flying Flash that sacks a creature to counter something.
I'm not chill on playing this other hopeful in A because I don't really want to flip the Moon Rage Brute back at the moment. Uh, when your when your keep hits level two in Megas, there'll be a point where it says upgrade upgrade your keep. Uh, not not the noble, your main building thing. Dream Shacker Geist. They paid three to keep this tapped. Uh, sure. That is a legal play. I believe if you phase out the... Well, you can't respond to day or night, right? But I believe when this phases back in, if it's on a different day cycle, it just goes to whatever is the right spot for it to be. But I don't believe it triggers the thing. Rimshackle Geist is interesting. That seems like a card that could maybe be playable in a slightly lower power level format. Might be one to keep an eye on for rotation in the fall. Your face has erupted, opponent. All right, Ziffley seems like a Kami Flare matchup. Just want to kill all their stuff. Uh, their things don't get particularly large. I think we bored this out. Like the one spirit that does get large, you can Brutal Cathar. Definitely an all Doom Blades on deck matchup for their cheap threats. Do we just trim a couple of the Thunderings because they're kind of expensive? Elite Spellbinder could also be okay to board in here too, just for the sake of flying blockers. It's like... Kind of a removal spell slash disruption, right? Maybe, maybe we do that. Uh, you definitely don't have a second copy. So double-sided cards, you could either pull them up out of the sleeve like you just said there, or they make what they call checklist cards, where you put a checklist kind of placeholder card in your deck for when you draw it, and then when you play it, you pull the actual regular card from a deck box to the side. Okay, well with that draw, now we hopeful innate and then play with fire the ascendant spirit, right? And then slip happens, but we've got Kami Flare for later now too still. And uh into Ganjo.
I'm gonna Aganjo rather than Kami's player to play around Spell Pierce here. Slip out, slip out the back saves her thing, but. That means it doesn't evolve yet. Opponent has had enough of trying to block. Yeah, I saw Hexaw. We chatted about that a little bit already. I think even with the Kami's player, we're losing the race. This is going to get to turn into a base 4-4, four four, so it'll be a 7-7. Seven seven. That's sweet review. All right, what are the odds they have another one mana protection spell? Is their number greater than 100%? They're getting priority here, right? Yikes. Well, that gives me a blocker for this next turn, right? Oh, except it doesn't because of Dream Shackle, guys, right? This is going to gain flying. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I'm supposed to have stance in my deck. We have four Brutal Cathar. It's pretty unfortunate they had so many protection spells for it there. the doom blades hit the board lead on this so I don't have to make a decision on uh, what we're doing with this just yet. Maybe Delvin shit. Is he about to slip out the back? Just pass here. Hold up the Aganjo. Another slip? Uh, deal. Resolves. 
And if they want to just tap me out so they can level up easily next turn without having to worry about me killing it in response. Tap plan would be great. Uh, adversary, kick it. Attack it for three here. I love building my own flame tongue kafu. Cathar is really good in the control magic. Matchup's a lot easier when they don't have all the protection spells. Weird. In fact, mean the famously too powerful for historic flame tongue Kamu. What's going on, the one, Jame? Thanks for the 27 months. Hope life's treating you all right. Happy Friday. Oh. Speaking of Friday, I'm actually going to be off all weekend this weekend. I plan to have highlights posted on both the Marvel Snap and Pokemon Unite channels up on YouTube. But I'm taking off a of live content since I was broadcasting all last weekend. Benerking King, hanging out for over, over four years. Welcome back. Uh, match one, game three. About to be, about to be one out. If we could climb up some mythic rungs for ourselves here. Can we be playing the salt video? Quite possibly. The time it takes for a salty magic arena player to fully time out chat. It's longer than an entire game of Marvel Snap. It's actually kind of incredible. Never thought of that, but you're right. Yep. Our ham could be cured with all of this salt. Yep. I 
Hey, what's going on, Omega King? Happy Friday, welcome back. Hands are a little awkward here, but this is keepable. It could be right to go double ones here. The upside to keeping the ones is if they play something I want a roiling eruption and then I draw a land, we can like eruption plus a one drop on three to be more resource efficient. So yeah, if we draw a land here, high sequencing is better. Let's do that into this. Bad. gets to attack into this as a 4-4 four four at least. Sad we didn't draw the land for the Raiju this turn though. What's going on, Moldy? Thanks for the 4-0. Hopefully you get a chance to check out Snap once it releases public. It's really good. One of my snap videos on the Highlight channel over the weekend is definitely going to be a uh, five things Marvel Snap does really well video. Ooh, that's an insane draw. Let's make sure these uh, triggered abilities go on the stack correctly. Yeah, yeah, just actually just dead, right? As we hit for... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's actually, almost all of your life total. Um, Esper. Am I supposed to bring in Valorous Stance to fight their one four? I think the answer is yes. I think Roiling Eruption in general is worse than play with fire in this matchup. They don't really have any X threes to jump out at me, right? Most of their things that eruption kills, play with fire kills, but a little bit more resource efficient. What do you think of Thalia in this matchup? Probably pretty reasonable. I have like three mana planeswalkers. Uh, this is standard. It's likely not a Grease Fang deck, just like Esper Midrange is a pretty pretty stock deck in standard. Thanks for ever checked out the Kingdom Maker promo. Appreciate the support. really good game three on the play, I think. Maybe, maybe Thalia here slows them down. Okay. We, uh, we spike and untapped red to our next two draws. We'd have a real shot here.
run this back. If we draw, we draw land. We want to be able to uh, double spell or ride you. So using all the resources this turn is pretty appealing. They chose to let this flip over. So either they messed up or they can't currently kill it. Um, I think I'm gonna chill. This feels like an emperor, right? And now we get to sniff it out. get aspirate big enough to attack into their emperor i guess this their emperor token i guess this flips back my breed fruit though too oh which just takes the token away so it's actually perfect gosh our brain is huge our brain our brain is just so big jet I'm far enough ahead to be able to play around second emperor here, so I think we just like beep beep head on in. Finally, I'm home. You're done. I think that's probably gonna be all she wrote here. It's not bad. Not a bad try. We mulligan to five that game, right? And they had double emperor. Times it do be that way. We're definitely bottoming a three drop. The question is which one? I think it's Cathar. It's close though. That's such a sad draw. That's such a sad draw. See if we get Raven people minted here or not. I don't have a Ray. We're in a pretty good spot. All right, well, rewarded for bottoming the Cathar. Definitely putting the counter on etchings. Seems like they have stone cold nothing, which is great for us, obviously. If anyone was defrauded by a for-profit college, the Department of Education is forgiving hundreds of thousands of borrowers who went to a bunch of for-profit schools. Nice. Yeah, I saw, I saw something about that, about uh, like six, expected $6 billion in student debt to be wiped out.
Okay, so clearly they have a two mana removal spell here. The question is, where are they pointing it? Can I continue putting counters on the etchings of Kumo? Because it is my, generally speaking, worst threat on the board. So I want to make it more appealing to kill. Yeah, I know, I know it's not as fast or as much as some people would like, but the Biden admin has definitely done a good job of chipping away at lots of student debt. They've canceled and removed a good deal of it at this point. Far, far from all of it, and there is a lot of it, but... All right, do we kill them through an emperor here? I think so. The Emperor, a five power thing, they go to seven, they die. And even if they have two, two mana removal spells, they die. wrong that the system is pretty rotten but if you abandon the system the rotten will be very happy to use it yep it's that you can't just opt out of the society right like the, the society will continue on with or without you i think with the brutal cathar we bought him to play with fire here Or do we eruption plus innate? There's value to getting this into play play sooner, and Cathar could kill things that eruption can't. I think I think I'm gonna royal plus hopeful here. Yeah, it does not matter if you are not interested in politics. Politics are interested in you. Another Esper matchup here. No Wandering Emperor here is excellent for us. No Fourth Land, less, less excellent. We, uh... We just use the Hopefuls to break the Ricketer Big Buster, right? One card, and we just get to take it out. They're gonna get to meat hook us either way here. I've learned much Untapped land is pretty close to lethal. You are not much of a roadblock. I hate everything, everything. There are four, four mana cards in my deck. Oh, so them.
So them giving this minus power meant that this one got to train this one temporarily, which is funny. <laughs> when your opponent draws as many wandering emperors as you draw lands. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. Enjoy your stay. Well, our curve's insane here if we hit lands 3-4. Land number three. It's uh, actually pretty good for us. It's a trade with Stormseeker, take five here. year the red war boss let's get you a sword to go with that shield welcome back I could probably make the argument, Kyle, that um, qualified immunity running a fall of justice does in fact stand exactly for most of the things the United States stands for. Not in a good or happy sort of way, but in an actuality looking at our history sort of way. Thanks for the entire year, Red War Boss. The good news is we might not need a fourth plan to win this game. <laughs> All right, God, God bless, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> Just actually drawing all of our only four drops and never a fourth land. My body is ready to flood out and die in this third game. What's going on, Terrell? Make sure that almost three years. Welcome back. Like my boot, medium rare. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oof. Is Bloodthirsty you up here? Yeah, I'm almost always. Blood Bloodthirsty's like a uh, two-two for two with haste that just like happens to fill the curve late when you flood a little bit. Am 
Spending our third turn killing their play isn't great, but... Them dashing this, I think, is actually good for us, right? Like, it costs them life, and now they don't have something committed to the board. Excuse me, Mr. Streamer, it's Blitz, not Dash. I got your Blitz right here, Andrude. Does block mean they're gonna meat hook me? Nothing in here to flash back, and I'm just gonna play another aspirin out. Rather than, uh, pay three to put a counter on it. Just want to get that three going. All right. Well, they did not have meat hook to the electric boogaloo. So we've got that going for us. Glass half full. Again, given the option, I'm going to spread the counters out. Um, they already have seven lands, so it's not like I can get adversary out of meat hook range anyways. So we'll just go ahead and uh, put a counter on etchings here. We might win despite the flood. Our opponent is also flooding a little bit here. The old blitz my card back to lethal myself. All right. Yes, yes. Hire for hire. Thanks for hanging out for over two years. Welcome back. All right, chat is the third Esper deck in a row. On the menu, solid curve here. They get to go one, two, three, four. And I'm not counting this as turn four because I know we won't have a land to cast it. That's not an Esper land yet. Exciting. Oh, we're going to get Monkey Pod here, aren't we? We're going to like have the fourth land on turn four, but it won't be a second red. Get on Adversary here. Rather this die than Luminarch, I think. Our opponent's username is Red Destruction, and we cast a red card and they blew up. So, I'm gonna think I'm gonna savor the flavor on that one. Let's act rotate. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power, power, word kill, and infernal grasp are the two mana removal spells. Let's see play in this format. Was 
my Korea card. Kick it. Controlling Jun deck, it looks like. We should play this Jun mid rage deck at some point. There's a few lists for it up on, uh, up on tapped out. Untapped. Whatever that site is called. Look at that! We drew a card, Jet. Death Touch Dragon. One eruption kicks for five to deal five instead of uh instead of three. Mostly, it's mostly just a uh, lightning strike isn't legal in this format dot card. All right, I mean, untapped land here gets us one closer to kick in the eruption and it lets us uh, crunch in with the cave. The Aldemir Breaker is so good here, converting two lands into possible spells for the opponent. to keep the land because it lets eruption kill them next turn. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to keep the land there. There's just there's a parallel universe where I keep the land and they like draw a discard spell, right? Kick it! Agronet goes burr, chat. Agronet goes burr. Farming ladder points, ladder points. I want to farm ladder points. Let's farm all the ladder points. Do 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 Sand really needs a one or two mana creature. So that way we don't brick with this, but it's definitely a keep. It's edge. Cleans up this token nicely, and then we get to attack for two. Keep the pressure on here. Been confined. They're the runes deck.
feels like they've stabilized at this point. Uh, Jukai Naturalist being a 3-3 is a pretty rough beat. Okay, so this gets a counter from faces. Yeah, and then Hopeful's gonna get a counter from attacking, and then we could use the Hopeful to break the Jukai. That's gas. Is this, so this is definitely a cheap removal Brutal Cathar matchup. Is this a Valorous Stance matchup or a Kami Flare? I feel like I just wanna try and kill their things before they get big here, typically, right? Yeah, the Nia's Runes deck has been around the edges of the format for a little while now. Dahlia makes their enchantments bar. Yeah, but she's symmetrical, right? And they also have a good number of creatures. I think I'm just going to bring in removal spells and keep the rest of my core mostly the same here. Solid, solid hand here. That is an incredible draw because it lets me go hopeful plus play with fire this turn. Maybe I'm just supposed to play with fire proactively. I'm kind of hoping that they like attach a rune to the Jukai Naturalist and I get to two for one then, but that might be a little ambitious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, gotta kill it in response to the Rune Forge Champion. That way they can't uh, play runes out for free because it sets it to one and then this makes it zero. So, Aspirant here means that etchings goes to a 3-3 three, three, and then it trains an 8 to a 3-4. Hopeful, hopeful basically letting you get two counters from Aspirin every turn is really strong. They didn't grab the lifelink rune here, does that mean they already have it? The visitor here before uh can give out a second counter. Chill for now. Another hopeful innate is great. Well, let us break this portable hole. attacking, huh?
Do I throw away Aspirin to push extra damage here? Like the answer is yes. Break the showdown before it can make their things huge. Things still confirmed huge. Even even with the hopeful, it's gonna be a huge uphill climb. So these Dorcos were almost keeping pace, although we're a little bit behind that board currently. Really need a brutal Cathar to reset this Runeforge champion. That's gonna fish up a lifelink here almost assuredly. Yeah, we played a uh, red, black stack and explorer this morning. Cruise into mythic pretty easily with it. All right, our hands got a lot of removal spells in it. Sub said they got to they got to mythic with us for respang. They're probably gonna poke at some more standard stuff. I don't feel like kind of explorer has predictably got a little bit medium since they banned Winota. We'll still we'll still do some of it, but brewing there has felt a lot less fun. Gate doesn't release until next month, right? plan is to send out a Twitch subscriber survey next month before the set releases to see if people want to see alchemy. I could I could go either way. Well, I think our win condition here is flipping this back and forth and hoping it survives, right? I think I just passed here.
have nothing. He's ready to get wandering emperor. Just flooding out. At some point today, chat, we're gonna draw Thundering Raiju and we're gonna have four lands to cast it. I I believe in us. This isn't a line I'm happy to make, but it's the line. It's actually endless lands. Have card selection to power through it though. Who? Like another brutal Cathar, like right now. Here. Yeah, we've actually just been stuck on three lands every time we've drawn our only four drops in our deck every game. It's been a very typical Magic the Gathering experience. Our deck, our deck arguably has too many lands, I think, for uh, a deck that largely curves out at three with a couple of four drops, but it's just how life be. Round, round 23 as is. Lost the die roll and did nothing till turn three. He seems good for us. Wrong. Strong play for us, Chip. All the Valorous stances in. I think Raiju's actually kind of medium here. I think I'd like the Spellbinders to fly over the top. I think Kami Flare is better than Play With Fire. They have the 3-3 three, three Werewolf for two almost assuredly. Two Hopefuls, couple of Valorous Dances, sign me up. leader we were talking about. Hopefully we find someone to train our hopefuls here soon. Stance and play with fire. Our two most awkward removal spells into uh, 
werewolf pack leader here. Take their chariot and send it way far away here, ideally. Grand to the races here. It's a pretty decent pickup into uh, their four or five tokens coming in. I've seen some of the new cards. I haven't been following super closely because I don't actually know if I'm playing Alchemy or not yet when the set releases. Okay, so if I scry into an untapped land and they don't have another blocker here, we have lethal next turn, right? So I think we just take this hit and we hope that they just like pass to us and we untap and kill them. Obviously, they could have a land and do stuff, but... Man, so close. Wait, is that lethal? This is nine, 10, 11, 12. Are you kidding me? We're one short. Or one short, right? This is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, because I needed them both play with fires hit the dome, but then we had to protect our thing. I think we're supposed to just take werewolf pack leader off the board here and then leave back some blockers. I want to leave back the other hopeful because I don't want them to be able to like kill the brutal Cathar and then kill me with the this attack. They go block, block, they take five, they die to play with fire. Opponent breaking on lands here was uh, obviously very beneficial for us. My body is ready to die to another inscription. We have not. And they made a statement about what nerfs the buffs the snap will be or just that Nova is getting nerfed. They haven't given us details yet. They said that Nova is getting nerfed. They're considering a variety of buffs. They're considering a couple other nerfs, which I have to imagine includes, includes double dino. All right, that one was really quick. So I'm gonna do, uh, do one more. Hit me dealer.
There's Nova, they're only Arunius guard in snap currently. Um, I think double dino is probably a little bit too pushed as well. Also, apparently the current Nova balance line is one, so they had like a, like a family and friends beta before um, they released the current closed beta that they have. And apparently Nova wasn't playable in, um, apparently Nova wasn't playable in that family and friends beta, so they increased its stat line. And obviously it's too pushed down. I actually think Moon Girl is probably fine and is a really neat enabler for a variety of things. I think the only, I think the only thing that's overtly too pushed with Moon Girl is the uh, Double Nova. In, in general, I think it's fine. Yes, Nova typically giving 16 plus stats on a one drop, whereas uh, Blue Marvel typically gives gives less than that. Isn't the Collector in the same boat as Devil Dino? I don't think so. Collector, Collector's also, part of the core problem with Devil Dino is you could just like double Devil Dino on turn six for like infinite stats extra basically. Like you shouldn't you shouldn't just be able to like add 20 power worth of Devil Dinos on turn six. Whereas like Collector is a very slow burn in comparison. It's like powerful and it builds up, but it has to like sit and play and it doesn't just like happen as a surprise on the last turn. I think Collector is a pretty appropriately statted payoff for their game currently. Get through their stuff and attack here. Hey, thanks for ever checked out the Kingdom Kingdom Maker promo. Appreciate you support my content by doing that. Would like to attack with Storm Charge Slashers. Thanks. Yeah, I think fixing Dino is probably as simple as just making it cost four. I think they could also change Dino so that like it has base like two or three power and then it gets plus one for each card in your hand, but also making it be a rune, I think would be fine. Agree with that. I just gotta board in more cheap removal here against an opposing red deck and click submit, I think. Really buff they need to do is adding me into the beta. Play this and attack them for two. And then next turn we can like eruption and play with fire. That's close. So it could be right just to play with fire their aspirant this turn. And then them having a removal spell for our our aspirant is the reason I put the counter on my innate.
about parity right now. Just depending on how strong their hand is. Our hand's a little middling at the moment. Yo, dog. I heard you like Brutal Cathar, so I have Brutal Cathar and your Brutal Cathar. This one you haven't played. Yeah, it's a newer one. I said, I want your cards under the Cathars. I'm just chilling for now. I didn't I didn't want to attack into a possible emperor there. They didn't have Emperor last turn, so we're not attacking we're gonna attack into it this turn. In my Valorous stance? That would be something that would make them pause on the Storm Charger Slasher, but nothing else. A little bit of trample in my life. Solid Valor is stance read. Man, they would have really gotten punished if I would have targeted something else with that. Right, down to five. Does your red white aggro deck have a sweeper in it? I wouldn't put it past people in this format. Shit. Hey, what's going on? Happy Friday, Jeremy. Thanks for hanging out for three years. Welcome back. Seems like a, a good choice to climb with. It's probably, this is probably a pretty good best of one deck too, right? One of the things that really stands out to me about making this deck nice in the format is the fact that all of the removal spells you get to play like have a bit of utility even when they aren't ideal as removal spells like Whirling Eruption, Play With Fire, Go Face, and Valorous Stance is able to protect your things, which is nice. It would have probably would have had a stronger set if we'd have been able to cast this card anytime we drew it, which is like... We're stuck on three lands perpetually, but you know, sometimes life be like that. What's going on, John Earth? Thanks for the half a year. I appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, let's flip gears and play a little bit Marvel Snap. 